Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is Verilog code for 4-bit up-down counter using clock divider. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Anandi Pune. So, in previous session, we have gone through the clock divider, where we have seen that this is the circuit for the clock divider. Main clock is of higher frequency. There is a reset pin available and we are going to divide that clock so that high frequency clock is divided into low frequency clock and the reason I told you behind this clock division is that whenever we are applying this divided clock to the counter circuit suppose application like a clock counter circuit so we will be able to see the transition of 0 to 1 transition 1 to 2 transition that is 0 0 0 to 0 0 1 otherwise if high frequency clock we are applying to that uh, hardware so or a counter application we will not be able to see the transition properly and that's why we are uh, going ahead with the clock divider now in this today's session we will be moving ahead with the counter so here is the counter which is 4 bit counter which is having clock as an input reset as another input and mode which will be converting that uh, counter from up to down so if mode is 1 it will be counting up and if mode is 0 it will be counting down and output that is the counter which is of 4 bit so this is 4 bit up down counter now instead of this clock which is main clock i'll be applying divided clock which code we have seen previously so over here th that particular uh, block diagram is getting modified so this is whole application inside that will be having clock divider and that clock is getting divided that clock will be applied as an input clock to this 4 bit up down counter and that's why this reset is same for both the uh, blocks clock divider as well as up down counter and mode is given to this 4 bit up down counter so keep the thing in mind that this is the main clock which is applied to the clock divider which is of high frequency and this is clock underscore d is the divided clock which is of low frequency which will be driving our up down counter so over here you are able to see this, this waveform where clock is uh, getting generated and this is what depending upon this clock divider circuit it will be generating divided clock so for two clock pulses of input clock it is generating one clock of your clock underscore d now reset is one for small amount of time and your reset is zero for larger amount of time so that it will be performing its counting operation so when reset is zero it will be performing counting operation and when reset is 1, it will be giving output 0, that is reset, resetting the circuitry. So, you are able to see this from this waveform that for this divided clock, on this divided clock, your up-down counter is working and that's why over here you need to look at this clock. Positive edge of clock, your counting will be happening. Now, you will be checking mode. Now, at this moment, mode bit is 1 and clock is 1, that is positive edge trigger and that's why as as well as reset is 0 and that's why from 0 it is changing to 1 so at next clock pulse again 1 to 2 then next clock pulse it is uh, counting 3 4 5 6 as on up to this one but at this moment at this moment your mode is changing from 1 to 0 so it will be counting down but it is not it has not counted started counting down from this moment because at this moment clock is negative edge trigger so it will be counting down from this particular positive edge clock at this moment you are able to see from 13 now it is down counted to 12 11 10 9 8 as on so depending upon mode bit depending upon clock underscore d and reset the counter will be counting from 111 to 000 that is down counting or from uh, 000 to 111 that is up counting so code for uh, counter that is 4 bit counter so previous code of clock divider we have written as it is so here we are able to see module up underscore counter is the name inputs are clock that is main clock reset mode for up or down counting output is of 4 bit because it is a 4 bit counter so the name is given as a counter and in out that is C clk underscore d now why we have mentioned it as a in out because this clk underscore d is output of your clock divider as well as it is acting as an input to your 4 bit up down counter and that's why output as well as input and that's why it is acting as an in out so here this particular point is very important now 
over here as we are using this behavioral modeling style we are using always block and inside always block whatever you are uh, variable you are taking as output variable that should be registered because it is updating every time and that's why this particular c o u n t count that is what is the register data type and it is a dummy of your output 3 underscore 0 so at the end what we will be doing this particular count which is getting updated inside the loop that is always block that will be assigned to this counter because ultimately your output you will be getting at this c o n uh, C O U N T E R counter and that's why after this loop is executed this assignment statement you need to write and this value of count you will be assigning to this particular C O U N T E R that variable and this is end so moving ahead with this particular point now rage 28 is to 0 div underscore count so uh, this particular video of clock divider is already uh, recorded and that is shared uh, over there so in the description box also I'll be sharing the link of this clock divider so as to understand what is the code and how it is written so this is what related to a clock divider we need, uh, we need to uh, have this register div underscore count which is of 29 bit depending upon how much uh, low frequency clock you want that way you can have this value as per your requirement always add passage clock begin reset whenever the circuit is resetted your all 28 that is 29 bit should be 0 and that's why here uh, just you need to make the change that as you have written 28 here you need to write 28 here so by mistake it is 22 mentioned over here so you need to make it 28 so all the 29 bits from 0 to 28 it will be making 0 because we are resetting the things else for positive edge of clock and reset is 0 it will be counting so here clock is not getting divided just the counter is counting from 0 0 0 0 that is 29 bit 0 to 29 bit 1 up to that it will be counting and this particular thing we will be using for the clock division now everything is uh, lying in this particular part that is 34th line where actually your clock is getting divided so this is clock underscore d that is the divided clock to which we are assigning the 0th bit of this div underscore count now re reason of that 0th bit I have told you you can make it 1, 2, 3, 24, 26, 28 maximum you can do as, as much you are increasing this particular value uh, that way the low frequency you will be getting and if this is less the frequency will be high that way you will be understanding. Now related to this what is the um, technique or concept you can go through that previous video whose link will be uh, tested in the description box now actual code of the clock uh, counter that will be seen over here now this one always block there are two always block first always block is for uh, clock division and second always block is for counting okay so all these two uh, always statements will be executing parallelly but whatever written inside that will be executed sequentially now this is very important because I'll be telling you one uh, uh, point where this is very important so always block is over there and passage clock underscore d now as i told you earlier that we are using this clock for the clock and uh, up down counting instead of clock underscore uh, clock main clock so this clock underscore d is mentioned in this particular sensitivity list so at positive edge of clock underscore d your counter will be working and that's why we are we are going ahead with this clock underscore d so your counting will be changing at each positive uh, edge of your clock underscore d or passage reset this is very important to write if you are not writing this you will not be getting that counting operation so this is very important now over here you are able to see always passage underscore clock passage uh, uh, reset so if reset is one your counter will be resetted that is all bits will be zero as we have considered 4 bit counter so all 4 bit will be 0 else you need to check condition if mode is 1 then counter will be counting up so it is written by count assign count plus 1 you, you can write 1 also over here instead of 4 bit decimal number 1 you can write 1 else if mode is 0 means reset is 0 and mode is 0 then it will be down counting so count assign count minus 1 or count minus 4 bit decimal number that is 1 then end and end model so this assignment is very necessary because whatever the data is updated related to count that you will be assigning to the counter because ultimately your output is counter 
so in this way this code has been done now why there is necessary to write this passage reset because over here over here this two always block executes parallelly now here that clock is clock is acting as an input and clock underscore d is the output but at the same time this output of this particular always block which is clock underscore d acting as an input to this always block so before execution of this always block your this clock underscore d should get executed but over here as this two always block execute parallelly so whenever the simulation is going on it is not clear that by partial second or by fraction of second uh, which particular block is going to execute whether this or this if this is going to execute at initial stage then this particular block will be executing because this clock underscore d is get taking as an input over here but if that is not happening then there will not be clock underscore d for this particular procedure and that's why to avoid that what we did uh, what we did that we have to add this passage reset so that it will be considering that reset and it will be executing this clock okay so this passage reset is very very important if you are not assigning then it will be creating an issue so that particular point should be clear because both this always block executes parallelly and in our case we require this to be executed first because this clock underscore d is acting as an input over here okay now what is the test bench now over here input is clock then reset and do, then mode i need to create or i need to generate this stimulus and that's why this code has been written for the test bench now this is what is the model name to the model is tt tbb underscore co you can give anything now whatever are the input are acting as a uh, register over here and whatever are the output that are acting as a wire over here so here we have mentioned these things as a wire and this is a input then this is the instantia instantiation that each uh, input of uh, your uut is connected to the test bench so uh, test bench clock is connected to your main clock that way the things has been initiated or instantiated then we need to generate clock reset and mode parallelly and that's why we have written this in different initial blocks so here we are generating clock it is same like we have created in jk flip flop as well as counter so clock is one then clock is going to change from zero to one by this particular statement clock assign not of clock so if previously it was one it will be zero after 10 time scale and i need to repeat this again and again and that's why forever has been written otherwise if forever has been has not been written so this initial will be executing only once so you'll be getting only one clock cycle so for uh, by writing this forever that particular cycle will be repeated again and again and by this you will be generating 20 time scale clock cycle so hope that part is clear second is what you need to generate a reset along with mode so instead of writing again another initial loop for mode i have combined that with this one only so reset is one so at that time it will be um, resetting the circuitry that's why that particular time period should be less and that's why reset equal to 1 and we have provided time period of 40. Now reset should be 0 for normal operation of counter and that's why reset is 0 over here and at that time uh, mode should be 1. So it will be counting up and that's why 500 time scale has been given so that reset is 0 and mode is also 1 so it will be counting up so 500 time scale has been given. Again reset is 0, mode is 0 so it will be counting down and time, time scale of 500 uh, is given and this is the end of this initial and module so this is the end of the module so that way your clock reset and mode is getting created in the Verilog test bench so hope that part is clear related to what is the code of counter how to write a test bench so thank you thank you everyone for the patience listening